What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Driftblim team that I built. This was me, I, I made this. Driftblim gets the electric seed when it's next to Maridon's Hadron engine, which gives it a plus one defense boost, and then Unburdened doubles its speed for consuming the item. Then you can either just be a fast Tailwind setter, annoy with Will-O-Wisp and knockoff, or you can use Clear Smog on your own Maridon and Terra Fairy. This will first erase any stats Maridon has that are down, like if you get hit by an Icy Wind or a Snarl, and then trigger the weakness policy giving you the plus two in special attack, and also attack, but you don't need that one. Then you can throw off some powerful Dazzling Gleams, some powerful Electro Drifts, and I also have a Volt Switch here because terrain control is important, so if you don't pull off that, that little gimmick there, it, it's still a good Maridon. You can just, I like having flexibility. The rest of this team, there's Incineroar and Ogre Pond, which are my comfort picks. I love having that Fire, Water, Grass core there of support. And then something cool here is Iron Moth. Iron Moth gets a speed boost on the terrain, and then gets a special attack boost from the Power Herb Meteor Beam, which is super cool. Uh, and then if the terrain goes down after you Meteor Beam and you set it back up, or if you, po if you pop your Power Herb Meteor Beam before you bring Maridon in, it'll actually change to a special attack boost. So keep that in mind if you play this team. And then finally, Bronzong. Bronzong is a catch-all counter to some of the things Maridon doesn't like to see. For example, Calyrex Ice doesn't like to fight Bronzong because Glacial Lance and High Horsepower, its typical moves, don't do much. And it's also paired with Blood Moon or Saluna often. And Bronzong is one of the maybe two or three Pokemon that can actually resist everything Blood Moon has to offer as well. So it's just a good catch-all counter to that. Anti-Trick Room Mon. Super slow, good, po good power with that Gyro Ball too. So anyway, I hope this is fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump in. All right, we've got here a co on matchup. They have Whimsicott. They also have Ting Lu. Ting Lu's annoying. Uh, but I, I really want a Dazzling Gleam against this team, so I think Driftlim Maridon is the play. Do I think Bron- no, Bronzong, not great here. Too many special attackers. Is Incineroar good here? Not bad. Ogre Pond is kind of bad. Is it Moth and Incin? Because that leaves me a little bit weak to Ting Lu. Do I really want to bring Ogre Pond to this matchup? Maybe I do. No, I think Hobbs will be fine. I definitely need the first three. I think the first three I definitely need. I guess I could also go like a Trick Room route with Terra Fire Bronzong. Ha! <laughs> uh, but um... I don't know if I want to commit to that, because I want to be using Dazzling. Okay. Fluttermane and Whimsicott. Just double Fairy Leaf. They want to Dazzling Gleam too, it looks like. Alright, I get my Unburden. They don't have Booster Energy. I should just Tailwind. Oh, it's so hard. Because I need to match Tailwinds. Yeah, I'll just Tailwind Protect. It's fine. I I'm mostly worried about Encore from the Whimsicott. Oh, they Sunny Day. They get the speed boost off of that. But it's not enough. Okay, they're not max speed. Triplin took that really well. Huh. Okay. So now they Tailwind, but they're still not faster than Driplin. I can clear Smog. Hmm. 
And do I want to gleam or do I want to electro drift? Oh, I think Fluttermane might be Sash. Well, one of these is Sash, so I should Gleam. Yeah, I should Gleam. I think Fluttermane can take that, but if Fluttermane isn't going to knock me out anyway... Maybe I can finish it off with a light tap from Clear Smog or Knock Off. <laughs> or maybe I can protect Maridon and get Iron Moth in here while the terrain's still up. That'd be good. Okay, it's going to be a Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam this time. So the balloon is going to go down. Unless Maridon gets the knockout, which I don't think it will. Based on that damage, I think that's probably a Focus Sash Fluttermane, and then the Whimsicott is... ENCORE! I'm having a really hard time in Ultra Ball this time around. not going well. At least I pull off that protect. That's pretty big. Oh, <laughs> uh, why? Why do you have to have the thing? By Drifflim. Uh... Okay. We've got Iron Moth. We can't Meteor Beam because they might just Encore it. But I can Heat Wave in the Sun. Thank you for giving me that. And bring back Maridon. This game isn't over. Like, I'm off to a bad start. But that doesn't mean I lost. I feel incredibly defeated in my heart and in my soul. Who's this gonna be? Go ride on. That's fine. And now they get their tailwind. But like, Moth is faster than your Go ride on. Not that it matters. I can't have anything to hit it with. Oh, and Whimsicott's gone. That's great. Ah, oh, no more encore. They're not going to Terra that Horidon. Oh boy. Alright, we've got only one turn of Tailwind left. They might protect the Horidon here. I'm gonna throw Energy Ball Fake out into Tinglu. I gotta make plays if I'm gonna win this. Yeah, Koridon protects, that's great. Now show me Tinglu doesn't even have it. That's good, that's a start. That's not a start. That did nothing. What stops them from clicking Collision Course and, st and whatever ground move they have? Nothing I see. Okay, uh, my plan is to chip down the Tinglu so that they're both in Dazzling Gleam range. And then hopefully position this Maridon to click Dazzling Gleam. To do that, I'm gonna have to eat a collision course, of course. Of course, of course. Can I get a Spadef drop, maybe? No. Bye, Moth. And that's double power because I faked it out last turn. 
<sighs> Sunlight's gone. Electricity's gone. One of those is a good thing. Okay, the Koridon we can fake out, and then we can click Dazzling Gleam, and it won't be enough to knock out Ting Lu. But we're faster than Fluttermane. There's a chance here. There's only one set of buttons I can click. I guess I could if I had read that. Maybe if I had read that. I, th I think they would have been able to get away with not protecting there. I guess they don't know that I'm max speed Maridon. That did not do nearly enough damage. Heavy Slam won't take out Maridon though. That's good. That's good. Okay. Koridon goes down to Gleam. Ting Lu goes down to this double up. Wait, do we have a chance? I see, they're trying to get the speed boost on their Flutter Main. So that they can get a hit in against Maridon. That makes a lot of stuff. That did not do nearly enough to Fluttermane anyway. We don't win. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they get the speed boost. They Moonblast Maridon. It takes it out. They Collision Course and Cinderor. Game over. This Maridon should go down to a Moonblast from here. So my play, I think Maridon goes down to a hit from Fluttermane, but they could be overly cautious and protect Koridon. If they're overly cautious and protect Koridon, that gives me my one win con. My only win con. Maridon would protect first, show me a Koridon protect, or you take the game. Yes! Oh, that's huge. If Flare Blitz can do it, we win. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam isn't going to knock out Ensign. And I already chipped you, so if you're Sash... I hope you are Sash, honestly, because that means you have no balls. Come on. Come on, Incineroar. Put everything you have into this Flare Blitz. Come on. Yes! Oh, Fluttermane's down. Fluttermane is down. Okay. This is winnable. We just have to be faster. And we're max speed. Worst case scenario, it's a speed tie. They can't have Sash. They, we already know their clear amulet. And we click Dazzling Gleam. And we get it. Ooh. Oh, that was intense. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's go, Maridon. And Incineroar. Everybody put in work that time. Except, like, Iron Moth. That Moth didn't do much. Good game, Chris. Alright, we've got an Eternatus matchup. Uh, they, all, they have a Rillaboom. They have their own Tornadus. Tornadus. Uh... They have Tinkaton for some reason. Uh, and probably Water Urshifu. Uh, well, we need Ogre Pond for the Water Urshifu. But it's kind of bad into the rest, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I don't hate matching Tailwind and using Maridon. I'll probably want to Volt Switch out, though, to keep Terrain for later. Uh, I need Iron Moth. Iron Moth seems really good here, honestly. And then is... Bronzong any good here? No, it's okay. It's not that great. I need Ogre Pond. Yeah, those are the four. I need all four of these Pokemon. I don't see how I win without these four. So, those are the four I bring. 
and leading Driftblim and Maridon guarantees that I get the electric seed off at some point. <laughs> so putting those in front makes a lot of sense. Now hopefully they don't think I would do that and so they don't lead Rillaboom. Which would... No, you know, if they lead Incineroar, I can't get the combo off either. But... Yeah, because if they can fake out Maridon, then I can't get the combo off turn one. Oh, they got the Meloetta. Meloetta picture. That's a nice pick. And then... It is a Rillaboom torn head is lead. Okay. I get it. That's fine. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to go straight for a Will-O-Wisp onto the Rillaboom. And I'll click Volt Switch. Maybe that's wasting time. But I, I feel like they wouldn't fake out the Maridon. Like, you think Maridon probably wants to swap anyway. Do you want to fake it out? Just to match my Tailwind, which I'm not setting, but they don't know that. Come on. Show me what you got. Protect Tornadus. Well, it's not a fake out. And I connect a Will-O-Wisp. Let's go, Driftblim. That's all I ask of you. <laughs> Volt switch gets blocked, and then what? What am I guessing? U-turn. High horsepower. Thank you for the weakness policy. <laughs> I guess I don't want to switch out anymore. I did a lot of damage though. Yeah, so they're gonna want to tailwind and do that again. But my tailwind should come out first. And then I'll just Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam. You put me in this position. I need to get the damage in. And I can burn Terra here. Uh, I would usually want it on Moth against Water Urshifu if they have that in the back. But I have Ogre Pond. So I'm not too afraid of Water Urshifu. Yeah, they set Tailwind. Driftlim should be faster, but I mean a max speed Rillaboom would outspeed. No, they don't. And then I get my big pretty Dazzling Gleam. Which I would think does over half to each. I don't have my Terrain Boost anymore, but... Yeah. Ooh, way over half. My Horsepower bounces off pretty harmlessly, and you're healing me back. Okay. Drift Blim. You may have served your purpose. I think I need to get into something like Ogre Pond for more support. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Because then Dazzling Gleam should take both of these. Uh, they'll probably throw a Grassy Glide. Uh, if their Tornadus has another Prankster move to play with, it might do something. It's just protecting. And then I assume glide before you go down, right? No, okay. Just gonna give me the Rillaboom while preserving Tornadus for some reason. Um... I think this is fine, because, like, the biggest fear would, would have been Scarf Urshifu coming in now, but Ogre Pond makes that a non-deal. That's, that's not even a threat anymore. Uh, Eternatus. Who hopefully doesn't have anything like Sludge Wave. So I can just click Follow Me and Dazzlingly. If you do have Sludge Wave, I mean, that'd be crazy. And I would lose. Oh, you're just gonna give Tornadus a swap? Oh, into Tinkerton. That makes sense. 
Pinkerton can take a Gleam. And a Sludge Wave. Wait, did I just talk Sludge Wave into existence? I better not have. That's not even a thing! Nobody does that! Don't do it! You're not sludge waving, are you? At least I'll go first, but I'm not gonna do any damage. Yeah, that bounces off harmlessly. Oh no! What?! Uh... Oh no... Oh, man. What's the Tailwind situation? Because they have Tornadus left, too. At least Driflim and the, they both resist. I could do something. Yeah, they've got one turn of Tailwind remaining. I could potentially set Tailwind back up. The Tinkaton is most likely going to fake out Moth. But I think I just allow it. I get rid of Tornadus. I think Ed Tornadus might be swapping into Tornadus. No. They just go for another Sludge Wave. Which may have been a mistake, honestly. I mean, uh, knocking it off may have been a mistake. Because that means they're probably choice. And now I just freed up their move. Oh, great. Tailwind Peters. So does yours. Grass is gone. I was using that. Alright, now I think they try to solo target the moth, hopefully. So I'll protect that and get another Tailwind up. Maybe. Oh, boy. I did not think they would stay in and just sludge wave again then. I really didn't. There's Dynamax Cannon, good. That's good. Now can I take a Gigaton Hammer? Because if so, that would be great. But if not, I probably lose. Ugh. Yeah. Dynamax Cannon probably takes me out. So I need to Oko Eternatus, which is not happening. Alright, give it a shot, Moth. I believe in you. Honestly, they should probably swap... They probably should have swapped Tinkerton out at some point. Oh, Helping Hand Dynamax Cannon, that does it. Oh, well, if I'm gonna get wrecked, I'd rather it be by something... Oh, I'm faster. Wait. This needs to Oko, and it won't. But if it does, we're in this. Oh, so close. Yeah, that's gonna just... Sorry, Moth, uh, you're, you're a stain on a windshield now. Oh, it crits. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay, that's how it goes. <laughs> I spoke Sludge Wave into existence. Ah, oh, good game. That's a cool team. Cool strat. Okay, we've got an Ice Horse matchup, and not a normal one. They also have Pheasantipity, Regular Arcanine, Tinglu, Rillaboom, and Iron Crown. Uh... Tinglu and Rillaboom are like Maridon's worst nightmare. I need Bronzong against, like, all of them. Oh. This is a Bronzong game, oh my goodness. Bronzong does so well into everything unless Arcanine has Will-O-Wisp. 
But I have Terra Fire. The only thing Terra Fire is threatened by would be Fezandipity getting a poison. Okay, so we know our game plan. Bronzong Endgame. Who's the lead then? Intimidate ain't bad against a lot of those. We need to get rid of Fezendipity as soon as possible. I think Maridon might be the way to get rid of Fezendipity as soon as possible. Dropping a Will-O-Wisp or two in the correct slots could be huge too for Driftblim. So I'm gonna go that, Bronzong in the back, and then one of the physical attackers, I think. Maybe Ogre Pond, maybe Incineroar. Incineroar gives me more breathing room, so I think I wanna use Incineroar. Yeah, th those are the four I'm gonna take. And this is a Bronzong endgame. I need to remember <laughs> to use the Bronzong endgame. If I can take out Arcanine, I don't need Terrifier. Oh, they don't have a trainer card. As long as Arcanine is still around, that's the threat. Calyrex and Arcanine. You know, I'm tempted to just do the thing. But I don't need to. What I should do is I should... Okay, Calyrex's ability, Maridon's ability, then the Electric Seed pops, and then presumably Arcanine has Intimidate. Yeah. Yeah, Calyrex's ability goes first because it's priority, but then the rest of that was speed order. Okay. I could even I could even knock off Calyrex and Bolt Switch into Incineroar to get a drop. Then I don't have to worry about it being like Terra Fire Calyrex. Get some good damage down on Arcanine at the same time. Yeah, that's the play I want to do. Because if they're Terra Fire and then I don't get uh, my Will O Wisp, that would be annoying. Because that thing stacking out of control. Oh. Terra Steel? I've never seen Steel Horse. On a Steel Horse I ride! Okay. Knock off your Assault Vest! Okay, I don't know what this guy's cooking at all. Good damage onto Arcanine. They have a Berry. Citrus Berry. Citrus Berry and Assault Vest. Okay. Uh. Still think this is a fine play. I can't afford to bring in Bronzong yet. But I don't think I'm that scared of the Ice Horse. If I can just Intimidate spam it now. Oh, how? Oh, that's cool. Alright, they're back to normal. Now I'm gonna want a Will-O-Wisp. And yeah, it's a Glacial Lance. Which Driftlim should eat? <laughs> oh, for some degree of eating. Hmm. I don't want Driplim to take a hit, <laughs> but okay. Ah, how do I want to handle this? I want to fake out Arcanine and Will O Wisp the Calyrex. Okay, they let me get the fake out. Miss the Will-O-Wisp. That's not good. Oh, man. Yeah, that ain't good. Okay, well, I need the Terrifier Bronze on then. Though... I could Volt Switch out into Bronzong and Flare Blitz. Yeah, put some more damage down. Yeah, I'll Flare Blitz the Calyrex and I'll just Volt Switch off the Arcanine. If the Arcanine protects locking me in, <laughs> I mean, that would be so annoying. Oh, I don't think I'm playing, I think I'm panicking. 
I think I needed to just go to Bronzong much earlier and get the iron defenses up. Extreme speed into Incineroar, that makes sense. Take out your Arcanine finally, that's really good. This Glacial Lance is gonna hurt. At least it's gonna hurt uh, Incineroar. It's gonna take out Incineroar because I'm gonna take Flare Blitz Recoil first. How much does this Flare Blitz do? Good damage to Calyrex, okay. Glacial Lance takes out Incin most likely, yeah. Oh, but that bounces right off Bronzong, good. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of pieces. It looks like I might be in a bad position, but I've got Bronzong right where I want him. On the field. <laughs> Maybe I should have done this earlier. But getting rid of Arcanine was the plan. By the numbers game, I'm not doing well, but I am following the plan. Do you just not have Rillaboom? It looks like you might have just not brought Rillaboom. Alright, how many turns of this terrain do I have left? Two? Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll go for a Drift onto Calyrex, and then I'll Terra, and I will Iron Defense. Ting Lu swap, probably into Rillaboom. Yeah, okay, they did have Rillaboom the whole time, but that's fine, because Ting Lu's damage reduction and getting rid of terrain is about the same. Um, I guess getting rid of the terrain does more reduction. So, if Calyrex can eat this, well, <laughs> it's Bronzong v. World anyway. Oh, man. Alright. Do enough. Be enough. Please be enough. Not enough. Calyrex is gonna get another KO. Oh, missing that Will-O-Wisp is coming back to bite me hard. Because now they're going to get two single target Glacial Lances, and I don't think I can live those. Oh, great. I think I lose. I think I played around too much, and now the Bronzong endgame isn't going to be enough. Because this turn they fake out, and I can't stop them. <sighs> Rillaboom does nothing. Well, unless it has knockoff. If it has knockoff, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Not me, I'm already in trouble. I think a fake out Glacial Lance into Glacial Lance takes me. Maybe. Knowing you have Ting Lu in the back is good. Swords Dance Rillaboom. That's less bad. How much does that do? A lot of damage. But we take that out. Oh boy. Swords Dance Rillaboom? What would Swords Dance Rillaboom have? You would have Grassy Glide, of course. You wouldn't have Wood Hammer. Maybe there's a chance. I don't know if I can Oko either of these, though. Yeah, if I attack twice into Ting Lu or Rillaboom, I'm gonna take four hits. If I Iron Defense, and then Oko... Yeah, I think if I Iron Defense one more time, I can Oko Ting Lu. So I need to go for that play. Oh, they have Knock Off, I lose. Good game. Ah, oh, man. Why did you have to... Ah. <laughs> oh, that's on me. I played wrong. I did. I let that Calyrex get carried away. And I missed the Will-O-Wisp. I guess missing the Will-O-Wisp isn't my fault. That's Driftblim's fault. I'll go... I'll go give him a good talking to. Okay, we've got... Whoa. That's an interesting team. Whimsicott. Origin Giratina, Spectrier, Zorark, Chestnut, and Mamoswine. 
careful of that Zor. That could be a problem. Uh, nothing with a higher base speed than Maridon. So I like Driftblim Maridon. Uh, they have a few things that can outspeed Driftblim after a Tailwind. And by a few things, I mean Zork and Spectrier. Yeah, that's it. Iron Moth, oh, Iron Moth does have Heat Wave, so it can hit that. And it can hit a lot of things. Alright, against Origin Giratina, I think I want Hobbs. I don't know if it'd be physical or special. I don't, I don't really know. I know a lot about it. I know what it can do. It's just you shouldn't be using Origin Giratina or Giratina at all. So I don't know what people are going to cook up with it. Also, Triple Ghost. But all of but the Zork. I mean, I don't have Shadow Ball on Driftland. They don't know that. They might be trying to bait a Shadow Ball. I don't want to use Bronze on because there's like three ghosts. Ogre Pond is walled by a couple of those. I'm not bringing Ogre Pond, so I have the right four. I'm confident that I brought the right four Pokemon. Mamoswine is a little scary into Maridon, but I'm gonna just turn into a fairy type most likely anyway. Because Dazzling Gleam hits that team hard. Oh, the two cannon card. Hi, two cannon. I love Two Cannon. I specifically hunted Shiny Two Cannon in this game. Because I love Shiny Two Cannon. I've been waiting so long for it to come back since it wasn't in Gen 8. Alright, Maridon's Terrain activates Driftblim's Electric Seed. And then, no, that Giratina won't have pressure. It has uh, Levitate. I'm wondering if I Gleam Tailwind or Gleam Clear Smog. I think I want to Tailwind first, because if I get two KOs by going Clear Smog Gleam, I would then be in trouble of getting outsped and KO'd. But if I leave both of these on the field, there's less chances to cause problems. And I'm not clicking Protect in front of a Whimsicott. Because Encore has been a pain in the past. The very recent past, if you believe it. Okay, we get our Tailwind to match. That's cool, because Maridon's faster than your whole team. And then you didn't Terra, so Gleam just does a ton. And then Poltergeist. Attacks our weakness policy. Well, you know something now. You learned something about my Maridon today. Is it worth procking the weakness policy? They have ice they have ice shard on something. I think I need to get out to Moth and just click Gleam again. I think if I trigger the weakness policy, I'll be in too much danger. Uh, Giratina could have Shadow Sneak, for example. I'll just get in another Sweeper. Okay, Whimsicott Swap. That's interesting. Into Mammoth Swap. They hit the Shadow Sneak. It's not enough! Yes! That's huge. Mammal Swine takes a good chunk from that, too. Like, you have Ice Shard, but whatever. I will hit you with the Moth. With what move, though? Energy Ball? It's the most accurate. The only one that's accurate. And they have Spectrier. I'm not too worried about Spectrier. I'm gonna Energy Ball and Protect. could see the Mammal Swine going for a Terra, that's why I'm... I was considering Meteor Beam. I think Meteor Beam would cover most of the Terras Mammal Swine might want to have. 
But then again, if you just want to click Ice Shard, do you even Terra? I ass okay, no Terra. That's good. I assume you just click Ice Shard. Yeah, that's fine. And then I get my Energy Ball, full power, no Terra, goodbye. Love it. And then Spectre, you can do... I don't know what you can do. Don't do anything scary. Snarl, that's fine. I'll take a stat drop, whatever. I can just swap Moth out and back in and then get it back- or, or just get it back with a Meteor Beam, whatever. Hello, Winnie. Wimmy the Whimsy Cat. I think I just knock out Whimsicott with Moth while I'm here. Because the worst play would be like Encore by Maridon and then I swap out the Maw. So I think I just click Heat Wave and I click Dazzling Gleam and I just let the moves speak for themselves. Endure Whimsicott. I have not seen that before. Who dodged? The, uh, the thing that would actually take real damage from that move. Okay. Maybe it wouldn't be big damage. Oh, that was big damage. And then you hit me with another Snarl. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, they get a special attack boost for that, too. And the Tailwinds both go. That Spectrier could be a problem. But no, I go Incineroar, I fake out the Whimsicott, that way it can't endeavor anything. And we should be fine then. And Moth, yeah, it's minus two, but I can get that. How much terrain is left? Last turn of terrain, last turn of Moth being faster then. So yeah, I should throw a Meteor Beam now. And just fake out the Wimmy. Now Wimmy, 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 Wimmy. Do you still have Terra? I think you still have Terra. Oh my goodness, are you gonna Ghost Terra here? Ghost Terra, Endeavor my Incineroar. I lose, right? How do I, oh no, 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 no. No, it's a Spectrier, right? Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Oh, I was good. Uh. Fighting? You're gonna Terra Blast my Incineroar. Uh oh. SpaghettiOs. At least I get the Meteor Beam off, but it's not gonna do any damage now that you resist. Oh, that bounced off harmlessly. And then it is Terra Blast! No! Come on, Ensign, you can take this. You can take this! You cannot take this! Oh, this is so bad! That's about as bad as it gets. Am I getting reverse swept by this horse here? Well, I need to click Heat Wave, it's my best move. I think I got plus two special attack. Uh, I, the good news is I don't think Snarl can... They probably have Shadow Ball. They just Shadow Ball Drifblim, take a hit from Maw, Shadow Ball Maw. And I need to go for Tailwind. Yeah, they just Shadow Ball. Driplim is not taking that. Oh boy. And there was nothing I could do either. I already used my Terra. Come on, do enough. Oh, it's enough. Thank you, Moth. I love you. Oh, I love you, Moth. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh. Someone get me out of Ultra Ball tier. Oh. Good game. Oh my goodness. Okay, up first is a Mewtwo team. Mewtwo's totally cool. Uh, they have Whimsicott, so they have their own speed control that way. Uh, and Maridon's biggest threat... Uh, they don't have any huge threats to Maridon, if I'm being honest. Whimsicott can threaten it before Terra. King Gambit can threaten it after Terra. Uh, but I think I just want to go with the strategy right away. See how much damage I can do, and then do some cleanup afterward. Uh, Iron Moth should be faster than everything they have, as long as I keep terrain up. Which shouldn't be too hard to do. This looks like it'll be a fast-paced game. And then... Hobbs is just gonna boost Milotic and King Gambit, and nothing else vulnerable to Intimidate. So I don't want that, even though they have Psy Spam. Uh, it could be Bronzong. It could be Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond isn't bad. It hits all the Pokemon, except Whimsicott. Bronzong's not bad either, just for body press into King Gambit mostly. It's a little weak to- it's weak to Entei. Uh, if Milotic has Scald, it doesn't beat that. It would be good though into the Poison type. But I think I'm gonna do Ogre Pond. And it's unlikely that I would even proc the Toxic Spikes, but if I do, I have the Moth to clear them up. So let's see. Let's see how the Balloon can do against Mewtwo. Oh, and they've got a Trainer card with the Entei. Is that a shiny Entei? Nice. Very nice. You didn't catch that in this game. Glamora the Worn Out and Whimsicott the Sociable. Okay, this is a shiny hunter we're fighting here. Okay. Now, if we match Tailwinds, then Maridon's the fastest on the field. If they Tailwind, Glamora... If Glamora's max speed, it can catch Drifblim. Let's see, what is Glamora's base speed? I should know these things. Because Glamora's base speed is 86. I knew it was more than 80. Uh, but who runs Timid Glamora anyway? I think we'll be able to get our Tailwind. And I'll just protect Maridon here. I, my worst case is just Tailwind Meteor Beam into Drifblim, but we should be able to match Tailwinds first. Yeah, we get to match the Tailwind. That's good. Now, please don't destroy my balloon. Uh-oh. They might be popping the balloon here. They might have just done it. Block. Block it, Maridon. Block it. Oh, it's not at Maridon. Okay, I'm sorry, Driplum. <laughs> Alright, we're not gonna do the thing, but we can still do something. Ooh. Yeah, Iron Moth should be fine here. Boost our speed. Alright, do I want to save Meteor Beam? I do, because I think Entei is coming. So I want to save Meteor Beam for that. Here I can just... I mean, I'm not threatened by Whimsicott on Iron Moth. Maridon slightly. I guess I am a little worried about Glamora. You know what? I'm going to just Meteor Beam. I'm just going to do it. Because I want to do as much damage as possible to this Glamora. Uh, I guess the worst case here now would be they have Encore. If they Encore my Maridon, then I'm in a little bit of trouble. But I'm tearing just for the Moon Blast. Because I'm not hitting Whimsicott, it will be able to get a move off. Ah, oh, Spiky Shield? Man. And what's your Whimsicott got? Cotton Spore. Oh, you're taking speed, huh? Alright, I see you. Spiky Shield and Meteor Beam. You probably have like Sludge Bomb Earth Power, so I'm terrified. 
you can definitely cause a problem. And plus, that hits my Maridon for a little bit of chip, because Electro Drift is a contact move. Alright, it's not going great. <laughs> uh, we're going to double Glamora again. Hopefully it goes well. I don't think it will. They have Cotton Spore. So if I had Terrid the Moth, I never would have got hit by the speed drop. Man. Another Cotton Spore. Makes sense, just to be safe. Because, I mean, Moth had a speed boost. Maridon's pretty fast. And it's Sludge Bomb, plus one, takes out Maridon. Yikes. Well, that's not a good position to be in. And now Ogre Pond. How many turns of Tailwind did we use? Because... This might be our last one, meaning they should just spiky shield and set Tailwind. Yeah. They protect here, they can set Tailwind. Ogre Pond is not affected by Cotton's War. But they could read my doubling into Whimsicott and just take out my Ogre Pond, in which case I lose. But I need to read their spiky shield from Glamora and take out Whimsicott so it can't set a second Tailwind. Yes! Thank you. That's great. Now, what do you have, Winsicott? Oh, you're just going for an attack, I see. Alright, that should break any sash you potentially had. You're just getting some chip with Moonblast. That's cool. That's cool because Ogre Pond will be faster. Nice. Alright. Well, it's a tough match. I think we're out of terrain, too, now. Tailwind gone. Their Tailwind gone. Another- oh yeah, there's one more turn of terrain, okay. Yeah, Tailwind only lasts four turns, not five like Trick Room. Alright. I know I'm in trouble, but uh... <laughs> I'm gonna try. Man, I just got no calls right this game. Sometimes that just happens. I mean, I guess I got that last one right, so it's, it's starting to look up. But this meta, Regulation G is so momentum-based, it's crazy. You either, you either get the momentum in the first two turns, or you lose the game, it seems. At least for a lot of matchups. Off offensive teams. That's how it seems to go. Alright, so you use a Psychic move into Iron Moth, and you Sludge Bomb my Ogre Pond. So Moth would protect. Psy Striker Expanding Force bounces off me harmlessly. Thank you. And now, hopefully I'm faster than this uh, Glamora. I am. Okay. Things are going... They are going. That critical hit was not needed, Ogre Pond, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. Okay, I can redirect the Psy Strike, or... I mean, I don't know if I have many other options. Psy Strike's gonna take out the Moth. And the Moth is not faster, even with the speed boost because of the minus four speed. Okay, it's Entei, which Moth doesn't do that well into anyway. I see no reason why they wouldn't just Psy Strike. And then like Sacred Fire. I think I need to go for a double protect here. And I need to Oko Entei somehow. Okay, they're terrestrializing. Uh, is this Terra Normal Entei? That would that would make sense. It's Terra Grass. No, it's Terra Normal. Yeah, no way is Ivy Cudgel getting this KO even with a crit. So And I didn't get the double protect. Okay, so side strike. Oh, just extreme speed here. Which Ogre Pond does eat. So I had a chance, is what you're saying. <laughs> I get that double protect. Let's see how much Ivy Cudgel does. If Ivy Cudgel crit can take out Entei, then we had a chance. No, a crit would not have done it. Alright. Good. Oh, that was gonna live even as a fire type? Okay. Ah. 
got taken out by a Mewtwo. At least Mewtwo's cool. And they had Psy Strike. I haven't seen Psy Strike until now. Good game. Alright, we've got a matchup here against Zacian. Uh, they also have Grass Ogre Pond. They have Suicune, Galarian Articuno, Gouging Fire, uh, and Whimsicott. Well, Maridon is weak to Zacian both ways. That's not good. Uh, but that's what Iron Moth is for. So I do think Drift Blim Maridon is good. Uh, the problem is Zacian, which we should probably bring both fire types for. Uh, maybe just one fire type, because they have the Teal Mask Ogre Pond, and they have the Articuno that can boost off of Intimidate as well. Yeah, they're ready for Incineroar. So instead, I think I want to go Bronzong. Uh, if I can get an endgame against... not Suicune, Bronzong should be pretty solid, honestly. Suicune would probably beat it, if it has Scald, which it should. Oh, unless I save... well, if I save Terra Fire, then I'm weak to Scald, so that wouldn't work. Uh, and then Zessian with Sacred Sword, and... There's a couple ways to get through Bronzong, but I think these are the right four. I don't know if it's the right order. I might want to go Maridon Moth. Who's the biggest threat to Moth, honestly? Not a whole lot. I'm gonna go with Drift Blim on lead. I don't think I'm gonna try to pull off the weakness policy in this game, but it depends on their lead. They might try to... yeah, they might... oh, Swablu! So cute. They might not lead Zacian. They might lead one of their anti-intimidate mons, which would be great for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they let anti-intimidate. They're not ready for what I've got. Excellent. Yeah, I'm going to proc the weakness policy right away, I think. They've got two Tailwind options and a Trick Room option. Uh, that's why I'm not going to set speed control. I'm going to clear smog, and I'm going to try to hit... Suicune is way less likely to carry protect. And way more threatening to my backline. Okay, let's make sure I did this right. Clear smog, Maridon. Terra Fairy. Electro Drift. Alright, we are terrestrializing first, which only means that they didn't have a Scarf user who's terrestrializing. Oh, look at the pretty hat! Maridon, you're so beautiful. Alright, they do pop a Terra. I'm hoping it's the Articuno. Oh, it is the Articuno, that's great. Terra Ground, okay. Glad I did not Electro Drift that slot, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, but then the Suicune? Jo oh, it does have Protect. Alright. That's fine. I, I was thinking about Dazzling Gleam. I was thinking about it. I might get hurt now. Uh, hopefully it's just like Tailwind or something so I can match. Yeah, Electro Drift gets blocked. I should have clicked Dazzling Gleam. Oh well. And Terra Blast. Alright. I think I can eat that. Yeah, that doesn't do much at all. Alright. Suicune is threatened, so they would swap into... I mean, they could switch into Gouging Fire, or they could switch into Teal Mask Ogre Pond. Probably just take speed control. Uh, do I need speed control though? I want to just throw a knockoff at the Articuno and then Dazzling Gleam. Okay, Suicune stayed in. They did not expect me to Electro Drift and they were right. Oh, it only had Adrenaline Orb. That's useless for me getting rid of. But Dazzling Gleam takes it. All right. All right, maybe that shit mattered. Goodbye, Articuno. All right, what's Suicune do? It can't be anything that bad. Just Icy Wind? Yeah, that's fine. Now I need to set Tailwind. 
Now I wish I had already set Tailwind, but I don't think they have anything that's... I mean, minus one Drift Blim at plus, at times two, would be slower than their, like, Gouging Fire if it's Speed Booster. Might be slower than their Sassian. Maridon would definitely be faster than Zassian, though. Yeah, there's Zassian. Alright, so I just set Tailwind and Protect. Because Driftblim's speed is 145 times 2 thirds times 2 is 193. So it is not as fast as a Zassian. Zassian will move first. So I need to get the Tailwind and I can just protect. Because I don't think they're going to knock me out. I have the defense boost from the seed. Yeah, just blade into the bike. That makes sense. Suicune is probably another Icy Wind, if I had to guess. Yeah. I guess the problem now is they can protect their Zassian. And go for another Icy Wind. I gotta make a read. I mean, do I? Because minus one with Tailwind, I should be faster. So they should be scared. So they should try to make a read. And plus, even if I get it wrong, I could try to land a Will of Wisp on Zassian. Yeah, I think Zassian protects. I need to take out Suicune. And the Will-O-Wisp is just back up in case I was wrong. And I missed the Willow. But hey, Suicune down. That's pretty good. And I still have the Will-O-Wisp ready to go. Next time, maybe it'll hit. <laughs> Come on, Driftlim. Oh, if only I had gotten that call right. All right. Well, my backline has a good matchup. Shouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Iron Moth is very fast. As long as Terrain or Tailwind stays up, I'll be faster than Zacian. I think I need a special attack boost to KO it, though. But, I mean, it doesn't carry a move that can KO Moth anyway. And it is Gouging Fire. Gouging Fire might have to take a Meteor Beam here. Oh, they don't have booster energy. Last turn of terrain shouldn't change anything then. Because I've got two more Tailwind turns. Yeah, now I want to hit that Will-O-Wisp. And throw this Meteor Beam. This is a good position if I can connect moves. But they didn't protect anything. Alright, show me a knockout. Connecting, yes! That looks so cool when Iron Moth does it. Knockout! Let's go! Driplin, you've got another chance. Let's see what you can do. Oh, and also, because Driplin's going first, that means that that Zacian is not max speed. I was calculating the speed assuming it was max speed. It's not. In fact, it's not even... Oh! <laughs> Driplin, you take that too! Yeah, this game's over. All right. Excellent. Uh, Drift Blim is pretty useless now. So I think I need to swap into Bronzong on that slot and just start throwing Heat Waves. Their win count is I never hate a Heat Wave. But they go ahead and cancel. Good game. Woo! It wasn't perfect, but it worked out. Let's go. All right, we are back. I do not have the energy to continue. <laughs> this has been probably one of the most stressful recording days of my channel history. But we made it through to the end. If you're still here at the end, give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and try this team. It's super fun when you don't run into the weirdest, wildest stuff <laughs> in the world. And hey, we pulled out some wins in dire conditions there. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.